Yeah. Shame on me. Shame on us. We're from the Ummah of the 313 from Badr. But now we're right down to the ground. With the froth of the ocean. Like the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, we'll be huge in number, but we will be worthless. When anything happens, we don't care. It's me, me, me. Shame on me. Shame on us. When will we stand up? When will we fight for our rights? When will we be like our predecessors? When will we say enough is enough? Now listen. I believe and I agree that keep talking about the Holocaust, rightly so. But all I hear from people is never again. But how can you say never again when there's people in a camp in China right now, in a concentration camp and you said never again? Is that only for the non-Muslims? Shame on me. Shame on us. What have we become? We had leaders who really believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They took it seriously. Shame on me. Shame on us. Today, in every single land, you see Muslims being persecuted. Shame on me. Shame on us. But when there were real leaders around, not even one Muslim could be harmed. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, when he heard that one Muslim was humiliated and imprisoned in the Byzantine lands, he wrote a letter to the governor and he said, if you do not release this prisoner by the time you put this letter down, I'm going to bring such an army to you which will start from here and end where you are. Shame on me. Shame on us. What about Mu'atasim? The leader of the Muslims in the 9th century when her sister was stabbed in a land which was controlled by the Romans. She called, Oh Mu'atasim. And they laughed. Why are you calling him Mu'atasim? The leader of the Muslims. You think he's gonna come and he's gonna help you? You think he's gonna come from a thousand miles, sit on his black and white horse and save you? One Muslim woman? And the word got to Mu'atasim. And he said to the soldiers, let's go, let's rescue our sister. And when you go, you go on a black and white horse. And when they got there, they took their sister out and Mu'atasim said, say to him that I came and I rescued you. Your brother came and rescued you. In the 8th century, Muslim sisters were in prison in India. And when the leader of the Muslims at the time, Al-Walid bin Abdul Malik, heard this, he sent a massive army led by the general Muhammad bin Qasim to rescue and protect these imprisoned Muslim sisters. They traveled thousands of miles from Damascus. Allahu Akbar! They went all the way to India to rescue a few sisters because their honor was being dishonored. Shame on me! Shame on us! This is what the Muslims used to be. But look at us now. Imagine our sister Afia Siddiqui is rotting in a prison in America and we're doing nothing. What about all the sisters? What about all the imprisoned Muslims out there who are unjustly being treated? We're cowards. We're cowards. 1.5 billion of us are cowards. Shame on me. Shame on us. Where have we come from? We came from leaders. Khalid bin Walid. Abu Bakr Radiallahan, Umar Radiallahan, Ali Radiallahan, Salahuddin, Rahimullah. These were the leaders. We had leaders of Islam who believed in Allah and fought for Allah and cared for Allah and cared for the Ummah. Shame on us. Shame on us. What have we become? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhalladina amanu. Oh, you who believe, if we believe, then let's act on it. All you leaders in the Muslim world with your wealth and your cars and everything, shame on you. When are we gonna stand up? Your wealth is not here forever. In 100 years, we're all gonna be dead. Shame on me, shame on us. When are we gonna stand up for the oppressed? When are we gonna not fear? When are we gonna understand that one day we're gonna be gone? When we'll be standing in front of our king, our master, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who gave us everything. Shame on me, shame on us. Oh leaders, oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, replace these leaders with just Muslim leaders. If I was a leader, if I had power, but I don't. I'm just a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But still, shame on me, shame on us. 
and shame on you.